Hi, I'm your Minna Van Dyken, MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people just like you obtain optimum health by adopting a whole foods, plant-based lifestyle. Today, I wanna to talk about a vegetable. One of my favorite vegetables, in fact. It's the Okinawan sweet potato. Not to be confused with the regular sweet potato or the potato, the Okinawan sweet potato is a potato that comes from Okinawa and it's actually purple inside. First off, let's take a moment to talk about Okinawa. Okinawa is an island. It's a little place that's now part of Japan, but it used to be an independent country and a trading hub along the spice route. One thing we know about the Okinawan people is that they're one of the few people in the world that live a long and healthy life, even over the ripe age of 100. If any of you are familiar with the book, The Blue Zones by Dan Buettner, this is one of only five designated blue zones that were discovered on our entire planet. After discovering that the people in Okinawa live long, healthy lives, scientists tried to figure out exactly why. Of course, there's a bit of a genetic aspect to it, but for the most part, there are many other factors that are lifestyle related that contribute to their long, healthy lives. One of the things scientists found is that the people that eat a traditional Okinawan diet eat over two and a half pounds of vegetables every day. Much of this vegetable intake is Okinawan sweet potatoes though. It's also important to note when examining these people, scientists also found they were very active and they also had a sense of community, which we're discovering is becoming more and more important when it comes to living a long, healthy life. So what about these Okinawan sweet potatoes? What is it in these sweet potatoes that makes them so special? First off, let's get one thing out of the way. The Okinawan sweet potato is actually not related to the potato at all. It's in the morning glory family, whereas the regular white potato is a nightshade. These Okinawan potatoes are jam packed full of vitamins and minerals. Eating one Okinawan sweet potato is a great source of vitamin A in the form of beta carotene, vitamin C, vitamin E, and manganese, as well as copper, vitamin B6, potassium, iron, calcium, and very, very important to me, and it should be important to you, dietary fiber. One average sized Okinawan sweet potato will give you six grams of fiber. To top all that off, it's very low in fat, and the small amount of fat that's in there is a healthy fat. One thing that's striking about the Okinawan sweet potato is the beautiful purple inside. Not only is it beautiful to look at, but this deep, rich color means it's very high in antioxidants. Just to compare, one of the foods we know that's a very high antioxidant food is blueberries. Well, we know the Okinawan sweet potato actually has 150% more antioxidants than blueberries. Why do we care about antioxidants? Well, they help guard against heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and cancer. They also help prevent cellular aging, keeping you nice and young on the inside and out. When we talk about inflammation, we have to talk about free radicals. Free radicals are these compounds that are very inflammatory, and if they're not scavenged, they lead to chronic disease. Well, recent research has revealed the impressive free radical scavenging capabilities of Okinawan sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are found to have a compound called anthocyanins, which is a very powerful free radical scavenger. We also see anthocyanins in grape seeds, grape skins, red cabbage, elderberry, purple corn, and ascorbic acid or vitamin C. Next, Okinawan sweet potatoes are a low glycemic index food. Even though they're sweet in flavor, they rate low to medium on the glycemic index, meaning that they help keep your blood sugar levels stable after you eat a meal. So you don't get all those ups and downs after you eat an Okinawan sweet potato. Lastly, don't forget about the sweet potato greens, those green leafy part on the top above the ground on the sweet potato. They're also super healthy for you. Researchers have found that polyphenols from the leaves of sweet potatoes have been shown to suppress the growth of human cancer cells. So these leaves are not to be underestimated. They're also edible, but remember, they have to be cooked, so you can't eat them like in a salad or something. The Okinawans put them in stir fries and in soups. Try them, they're actually quite tasty. So you might be thinking now, how on earth do you eat Okinawan sweet potatoes? They're so funny looking, they're purple. Can you cook them? How can you make them tasty? Well, sweet potatoes are easily baked or steamed. You can cook them a lot like you would a regular potato, meaning you can mash them, mix them into other dishes, put them in soups or stir fries, as well as curries. You can even make a casserole out of them. Some people make Okinawan sweet potato ice cream. The possibilities are endless. So that concludes all the super useful information I have for you today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something valuable and applicable to your individual health journey. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to show us some real support, subscribe. We love hearing from you, so please comment below with your thoughts and questions on the material covered in this video. Also, let us know what health topics you want to learn more about and we'll try to get them covered. Until next time, aloha.